Hey everybody, Dave here. The other day I opened up Power Automate Desktop and this is the error that I saw. Unhandled error and five of these windows popped up on top of each other and I had to click close a bunch of times and then it just sat there saying getting things ready constantly. If I close the application and then I try reopening it, it doesn't show me all those pop-up errors again, but it still says getting things ready and it'll stay like that forever. I'll jump right to the solution and tell you what I did to fix it. And then I want to say a few things after that, just in case you want to stick around and get my thoughts on how to handle it. So let me close this. Now that I've closed the application, I am also going to go down and really close the application by right clicking on the icon in the system tray. So I'm going to click exit. Now Power Automate Desktop is completely closed. What you want to do is go to this location on your computer. So obviously you won't have Dave M there, but you don't have to type this entire thing. What you can do is just type percent local app data percent. And that should bring you to C colon users, whatever your username is, app data, local. And then inside of local, you want to go to the Microsoft folder and then go down to the Power Automate Desktop folder. So some people suggested that you delete this cache folder, but I found that did not help for me. I actually had to delete the entire Power Automate Desktop folder. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go back up to the Microsoft folder, and I'm just gonna copy this whole Power Automate Desktop folder and paste it into my desktop. So you can see it's backed up there now. I'm gonna go back over and delete the whole Power Automate Desktop folder from this local app data Microsoft folder. And now it's not there anymore, but Power Automate Desktop is still installed because we're not deleting anything from program files or anything. Next, what I can do is just open up Power Automate Desktop, and now it's asking us to sign in. Now, this leads me to believe that the issue has something to do with authentication caching, and that would make perfect sense since uh, it did actually try to log me in and it said my username and stuff, but it wasn't able to access my flows. So I'm going to click sign in. I'm going to type my email address here, but since I don't want to actually show that email address on YouTube, I'm going to pull it off screen and type it. And now I'm going to click sign in. So now the enter password screen comes up to sign into your Microsoft account. And so I'm going to do that also off screen. And then I'm going to click sign in. It's going to continue to say getting things ready, getting your flows. And now we see all the flows that I've made in the past. Now, I hope this has helped you. I would recommend be sure to back up that Power Automate desktop folder before you try this. The other thing to remember is that when you're doing this to go ahead and make sure that you right click on the Power Automate desktop icon in the system tray and click exit as well as closing the application when you go to try this out just to make sure it works properly. I hope this helps somebody. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.